Hello everybody, this is Fragger here from AchievementHunter.com. We're going to be tackling some achievements in Red Faction Guerrilla, or at least progressing Lost Memories, Working the Land, Free Your Mind, in the Area of Dust. This is part one of that shit. Now what you want to do is you want to mock uh, the southern safe house in Dust, and just follow the, white, the yellow line. All the ones you're getting here in this, pretty much this first video are following this there. There's a few after that, but not much. Let's blow this shit up. Ba boom there we go, it's awesome! Because I can not like explosives. Because if you don't, you're not awesome. Only awesome people like explosives. Science says this. Do you want to argue with science? Because I don't want to argue with science. No. Let's drive down this fork in the road, jump out midway and grab some salvage. You know, this is very important to go for a little bit, turn around and go to your left. Now, Let's see how good this gun does against the uh, mo the uh, piece of ore here. It does diddly shit. Well, let's test it on enemies. Let's see what happens. Science is telling us to test. Well, it looks like their bodies are ejecting the bullets. I may have to test it again later. Mm. I'll keep you guys informed. There we go. First mine of dust. First of about... Oh, about a hundred? Dear God, a third of them are just in this one area, so... We got a long trip ahead of us, guys. But, n don't worry. Lots of hilarity happened, including a giant fight. So, stay tuned. Now, don't do this. Boop -boo. Now, you just saw those two go flying off the red, right, right side, because they're red, and I can't speak to you. And, you don't want that to happen. Because you'll probably lose one. And I lose two in this area because I'm like, let's use a hammer on this one. You know what's a really smart idea? I'm going to go mine with explosives. Because, you know, it worked really well for other people. Let's see what happens. Um, where'd they go? Fuck it. Now, the next fork of the road, you see, yeah, right here, there's the right is two uh, gorilla actions. You want to continue down your path. And right before that stuff over there, you know, you know the stuff on the road. There's a whole shit ton of ores. Now, I'm going to take this time here because there's a lot of mining to do in this area to uh, talk about the fact that the Ultor Corporation. Now, it was brought up in the comments that uh, Ultor is, yes, it's from both Saints Row and Red Faction, but we're going to clarify things here for the people who don't know or didn't read, read all the comments. Ultor, uh, game wise, was introduced first in Red Faction. Now, yes, that's where the corporation was first introduced. Now, if you want to say Red Faction and Saints Row exist in the same universe, then you can obviously say that uh, Saints Row series introduces it to the world first. While um, the first time gamers saw it was in Red Faction. There's your answers. Hard evidence. Well, maybe flaccid, but you know we're not going to go into that. Now what you want to do is there is a um, mining station up there or a mining checkpoint, and you want to take a right here. And the mining station part's important, because I said it is. And you should be trusting me by now. I mean, if we don't, if we don't have trust, then what do we have? We have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. So, break down these ore, and I'll make sure whenever you're breaking the ore, to make sure you get a little pop-up on the top left that says you've broken X amount of ores. Because if you don't, that means you haven't mined it completely. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive through the sign like this. Okay, that's fucked up. Let's try this again. Um, y yeah? Well, let's just do that from now on. It's a lot easier than getting out and blowing it up, so running it over with a vehicle is fucking badass. Now once you pass your, um, your marker there for, uh, the first mission in Dust, or the first mission you, you meet on the way here, which is a fucking awesome mission, I have to say. I love that mission. You're going to you're gonna counter two ore. One is going to be real easy to get. The second one, you're going to look like a dumbass like me if you try to jump up and get it. Look at me go. I want the ore! That's exactly what I'm doing in my head. So I'm going to run out to my vehicle. By my vehicle, I'm going to be like, you know, a seven dumbass seven-year-old and run to the street and go, I like cars! No, that's not what you want to do. You want to get back into your vehicle and drive up there. Either run it over, or miss it, or whatever you gotta do. Just get up there. 
and we're going to continue our tradition of oh, of mining with sledgehammers because it makes you know perfect sense. Now you're going to be driving on the path. You're going to encounter two two caution sign areas, which would say like I'm not going to say anything, but they're going to be kind of like the stuff you see on the side of the road where there's construction work. The first one's going to have these. The second one's going to have a dog tag. So this very first one, you're going to beat the shit out of some ore. It's just badass, and that's what real men do is they hit things. They blow it up. Blow shit up and hit it with things. Now, a good idea is to count how many are in, 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 in each area before you start doing them. You start killing them in quick succession. You may lose track of how many pop-ups you've had. It happened to me, and I'll point it out in the video. I start leaving, and look, let's run this bitch over. Boom! We did it. But the problem is you don't collect ore in the vehicle, but whenever you destroy a propaganda sign in your vehicle, you collect the salvage. So I guess that's telling you what to do. Mine ore with your hammer, run shit, run signs over with your car. You see there's the next caution signs. You just kind of drive up here. I'd get out early because we're going to have some fun in this area. So you want to go inside, you're going to want to be a badass action hero and jump through that window or do it like me. And, and don't. There we go. Let's grab us some radio dog tags. Nice. So what do we do next? Well, fuck it. This this building's in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Let's blow this shit up. And my bad matter of fact, buttfuck nowhere is a part of dust. And um, if you don't believe me, um, shut up. Watch out for debris when you're blowing things up. Just throwing it out there. Because, you know, it's usually a bad idea to stand inside the building that you're blowing up. I guess the, street, the same thing we said about dolls, but we're not going to go into that today. Different time! Now, we're going to start going real time here with this explosion. Because you're going to watch some badassery with this final one. Look at this shit crumble. Oh, that's just beautiful. See, fuck other physics. This this game has the most badass physics ever. But bam Let's do this. Now, back in your vehicle, you're going to go back on your uh, path. Before you do, there's three to collect. And yes, we ran one over. Because running over things is for badasses. So there we go. Collected our ore there. Now I just gotta destroy two more. D two more. One more at this point, actually. One. Come on, there we go. Okay. We got we got a clear path onto uh, the safe house. So let's go. Let's go. There we go. Now, I want to point out here, right where I'm about to turn to my left here, for a quick second, that's where we're going next. So you want to travel down that path. The reason why I'm telling you that now is I'm fast-forwarding through it because of the time constraints I have. So, sorry about that. Here we go. We're parked in dust instead of being in Parker. Parking in Parker. So, here we go. New vehicle, new area. So, you can see we're going to follow this on the right. Just stick to the right. And let's go through this. Yeah! Oh. Wait the fuck a minute. Let's go see this shit again. Okay. So I'm driving, and I'm starting to list to the left, and all of a sudden, I just pass directly in the middle between all three objects. What the fuck? Let's go hit these things. But fuck the hammer. We're using our new weapon. A fucking pole axe. Yes! Chop it down like a tree. A tree of hatred. There we go. Now, you know what? Fuck this sign, too. Take that, you piece of shit. Okay, let's go back in our vehicle and not be, not be so angry. So, we're going to be following this road for a little while. You see, right where I marked it, which is about yay, yay up there. Just keep following it and miss some more ore. Chop down some more ore. There we go. Let's go back in our car. Now, see where those two signs are? You want to go a little bit to the south of those. Because there's going to be uh, the big rock I'm pointing at, and right above it's a little tiny rock. Now, you want to click on that, right where I have it clicked, like right around there. That's where you got to go. So we go on up. Bam! And collect some shit. Best way to think about it actually is. At the last point you were at, just kind of go on the, the north, and once you see two windmills, or um, wind turbines is what they actually are, because they're providing power, um, you start running shit over. And don't forget, those 
wind turbines are actually EDF property, so blow that shit up when you got a chance. I do it off screen here, but I definitely did it, because who wants to leave EDF property standing? I certainly don't, because EDF fucking sucks. They can go die. Now, after you chop all day and night, you want to go up here to this little cave, or alcove, or uh, crevasse, and on the entrance to it is going to be some more ore. Now, I can make a really dirty joke about that, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to take the high road and just say it's an ass. There we go. Now, we're going to find a dog tag in this uh, area. And uh, that's going to make number five for those. Now, turn around and take a left and go across. Now, I missed this one originally because that area, see, took me a long-ass time to get to, so I forgot about these. Don't forget about these. They're kind of easy. But if you're driving from the north to the south uh, safe house, you'll pass by this, so you won't miss it then. Now, from where our car was, you're going to see those two um, gorilla actions that we saw earlier. And right where I have highlighted is going to be our next action to destroy shit. So we're going to get in our car, and we're going to drive. We're going to drive! And there we go, we ran over a sign along the way. Right before the station here, in front of you, that's actually where the uh, final mission is in this area. You want to, you want to go in this little area and destroy things. Now, another point of interest about this is later on, once you do some missions, you're actually be doing a mission in this area. I mean, a guerrilla action in this area. It's I forget exactly what it is. Somebody's gonna correct me in the comments. I forget exactly what the action is. But there's one where you actually get to use a walker and kill people. Do that mission. It's a lot of fun. You get to kill a whole bunch of EDF with a walker. So here we go, we're going to go to tackle number 80, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the way in here, I noticed a jump. So we should probably go jump that. That's a good way to edit a video, doing a jump. Let's go do it. See, there it is. Let's go jump this shit now. Do this. Them pocket boys seem to be in a lot of trouble. Let's see what happens next time. That's right, everybody. You're going to see the conclusion of this next time on AchievementHunter.com. See you all later. Peace out.